A Kansas City Fire Department is changing the way it recruits. The now KC's Tara Hall did some digging to find out how these changes could affect the department's mission. I off a couple of friends. See, like he had a few drinks there. How many drinks you had? Uh, uh, more than I should have. A drunk driver crashes his car. His passenger flies through the window. Can you feel me touching this leg? Life and death all comes down to the split second decisions first responders Khalif Gant and Dustin Franz make. On three, we're going to lean him forward. I've always wanted to help people and I never knew how, and that this is how I'm going to do it. Don't need any medications routinely? It actually makes me feel really good, um, really valued, because I know that all the techniques I do. Um, do help. Through simulations like this one, Metropolitan Community College students prepare for the real deal. We get to educate people, uh, we get to prepare students, um, we get to create the opportunities, and we get to serve the communities through that. And that's essentially, that's our mission. You move your head back, sir, all right? Mm, all right, one, two, three. Now MCC, in conjunction with KCFD, is extending this training to high schools in Kansas City. We really want to try to have the, the department mirror the community in which we serve. Through the year-long program, 15 seniors enrolled in public, private, and charter schools will take MCC's EMT course at the start of this upcoming school year. Then next May, they'll not only graduate with their diplomas, but also as an EMT. I hope we put together a regional program where a lot of students may be able to benefit from every school district that they can, uh, if they are interested in, in the emergency medical field, that they can get into that field right in high school. And to supply the city with impassioned first responders. All right, and aside from training, KCFD will also offer the students scholarships to MCC so they can continue their studies in becoming a paramedic. Now, the application process is underway. Interested students wanting to apply should talk to their guidance counselors. In the newsroom, I'm Tara Hall, reporting for The Now.